natural research with not only great historical importance, but that has with it a lush papyrus vegetation. It is a paradise for lovers of canoeing, and needless to say, for thousands of birds. And half a day of green walk among reeds and papyrus up to four meters high, with romantic wooden bridges that allow passage from one bank to another, you can visit this natural area. The Siani leads after a distance of 8 kilometers to the Great Arbor of Syracuse, at one time the most important in the Mediterranean. The most important aspect of flora in the reserve is, of course, the presence of papyrus, a plant typical of North Africa, rather rare in Europe. It has an erect stalk, typically triangular in shape, with the bottom part submerged. It is from 3 to 6 meters high and at the top has an umbrella-like blossom with long little branches and soft spiky flowers at the end. The fauna is clearly dominated by migratory birds, the gray heron, egret, black winged stilt, water rail, coot flamingo, the cornbrand, and others. Site of great beauty, the Edland, with the ruins of a 15th century tower emergence, consists of calcareous Mesozoic age, dating about 200 million years ago, which settled on the seabed in an environment of carbonate platform and lagoon, and subsequently emerged as a result of the Armorican trusses which led to the formation of Sicily. The rocks are rich in fossils, including the shells of bee whales, gelfish of typical size, and the index fossils of the Triassic, and the restes of organism inhabiting the seabed. The coast is high and rocky. In it, they open some caves due to the concomitant action of marine erosion and dissolution. Here they grow plants like milkweed, the brambles, ephedra, but especially the dwarf palm that make common crafts items such as broom and hats. To signal nearby, the Museum of Natural Sciences in Terracini, which houses many important collections, botanical, zoological, geological, and paleontological. The beautiful path that winds in the reserve from high cliffs above the sea bordering Calaparro and below the cave to the west you can see karst forms of carbonate rocks, typically engraved and sometimes even very sharp. A little further on, you can see the gorilla, consisting of a melee of low shrubs and herbaceous plants. We report the olive variety of the amphibians, the peculiar dwarf palm, known locally as scopazzo. Interesting is also is the presence of a wild asparagus that in Sicily is only present in Lampedusa.
Hello everyone, I'm Giovanna Battaglia and I'm Sicilian, but I was born and lived several years in America, but the love for Sicily brought me back to this island. I am dedicating a good part of my life to the diffusion of the cultural customs and habits of my population. I'm doing it together with my illustrious colleagues of the cultural department of Smashing Sicily. We support ourselves with the love of those who follow us. And I'm asking you to make a donation in order for us to continue to live and for you to continue to watch us. Go to www.smashingsicily.com on the support page or contact us. It's very simple. Thank you very much and hope to hear from you soon.